Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Welcome, everyone, on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from Champions League match day one. It's Salzburg, and they take on Dinamo Zagreb. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And the starting 11 for Salzburg. Well, with an attacking midfield player playing off the front two and a holding midfield player sitting in front of the centre-backs, it looks like they're going to use a diamond in this 4-4-2, which means they need to play through that central area. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, they're playing in a 4 5 1 formation, which is set up to counter attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And the match begins. Cordoba on to Petkovic for attacking possibilities will he play it in and snuffed out the danger immediately Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue and then he came back for the booking. Stefan Ristovsky. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Getting forward. Shot blocked, but still alive. Fernando, is it going to be? Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Baturina. Cordoba. Now with Petkovic. Promising looking attack. Could cross it in here. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Fernando. Dedic. Now, what can they do from here?
determined defending and both hands on it good goalkeeping Piazza Martin Baturina what a shame really because the move was promising but no end product from them and he stopped them in their tracks an example of how to press an interceptor there and teammates around him showing ambition to shoot from there goalkeeper has it A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Stefan Ristovsky, Cordoba, what can they do from here? Textbook defending inside the box. Fernando, very quick thinking there. Cordoba and Ristovsky has it might be onto something with that ball well now he's let that run out of play and it will be a throw in here and they're making a change Dario Spikic might be able to get in behind the defence he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one Martin Baturina Bruno Petkovic a very effective challenge put in Dedic Fernando he could pick out a teammate foiling his opponent completely They're putting all their energies into winning back possession Water there, and what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. And possibilities inside the box. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. Well, here they are on the attack. Can they go on and win the game? Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. 
Crossing possibilities. That's well blocked. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Excellent ball towards the front post. And a bit short with the clearance. Well, they can keep possession now. And there's the referee's whistle. Still all square.